Hello, my friends. This is the fourth episode of Advent of Code 2021 with Kotlin. And apparently, we are still on a submarine floating below the surface of the ocean. So that's why I'm dressed up today. And uh, we're going to play bingo with a giant squid. So our task is to calculate the results of bingo draws, uh, where we have the input file with a first line where we have all the numbers, uh, all the individual draws, and then followed up by the uh, number of bingo boards that we have to mark according to the input on the first line. So I already see that it's going to be an interesting parsing uh, task. I have to read in the first line and then I have to read in uh, the boards, parse them, convert to integers, and so on. So let's see how we can solve it in Kotlin. So I start by reading in the input from the file uh, and it's going to be a list of lines. And uh, then I'm going to process this list of lines to actually uh, create structures that I'm going to work with. At first, we need uh, to get a list of draws and that's located on the first line. We can just take the first line from the input. First and then split it by, by a comma character and uh, map it to an integer. Right, and we can extract the whole expression into a variable draws. The next step is to read in the list of boards. We can see that each board is uh, spanning across five lines plus actually uh, a blank line that is a separator. But we can actually read it by six lines and then filter out the blank line. So it means that we can use the same input list and uh, drop the first line and then uh, read the boards by chunks. So chunked by six lines. So it's going to produce a list of lists of strings as a result. And uh, now we can just uh, use the map function to filter out the blank lines from each board. So in this case, uh, the the variable is an individual board. And I'm going to filter each line if the line is, is not blank, like this. And I'm going to extract it into uh, its own variable. Let's call it boards, boards. So if you look at the type here, it's a list of lists of strings, but it's a little bit inconvenient. We need to work with numbers. Uh, that means we need to convert the boards with strings into the boards with integers. So I need to iterate over the boards and convert the list of lists of strings into the list of lists of integers. So each board is going to be converted. Board. And uh, each line represents actually a number of integers and uh, each line can start either with a digit or even a white space. It's, I, I, better, I better trim the white space from the beginning 
and then I need to split either by a white space or in some places we have two white spaces we can I think do it like this or we can use a regex class instead like this even though uh, I see that all the numbers here have two digits but I cannot be sure maybe there could be numbers for three digits then they will be aligned a little bit differently and there might be a third white, white, uh, white space as well or we can just you know hardcore the white spaces into the split function parameters well let me know what you think in the comments and uh, what else we need to actually convert each string into a integer to int good now we can extract it into a variable boards board ints like this and this variable is uh, of type a list of lists of lists of integers so the first list maps to the global list of the boards the second list maps on the individual board and the third list represents a row of numbers uh, in the board this looks like a complex uh, data structure to handle so it makes sense to actually introduce some domain classes and we would end up with something like this bingo board boards uh, which will be a list of bingo board instances we don't have this class yet but i'm going to introduce this in a moment but how do i get it i get it by converting the previous result uh, board ints into uh, a list of bingo boards so each board is going to be converted to bingo board something like this so i'm going to make a cut here and instead of typing the solution live in the video i'm going to give you a pointer to my github repository with the final solution and in the rest of the video, I'm just going to explain some K moments uh, so that you could just browse and compare with your solution. So I was at the point of converting the list of lists of ints into a meaningful uh, domain class, the bingo board. And I needed to create a function that would convert this list of lists of ints into this domain class. So I decided to have a factory function instead and I put it into a companion object so that it looks like a static uh, method and uh, the bingo board refers to a list of lists of fields and the field class is the integer itself plus a boolean flag that uh, we are going to use during the uh, game to mark the specific field if it matches a draw so to implement the game logic uh, i'm going to iterate over the draws and for each of the draws i'm going to iterate over all the boards and mark the fields if the draw matches any of the fields in the board so for marking uh, all we need to do is to iterate over all the fields and uh, call the mark function if the draw matches the value of the field next we need to check if the board is complete either we have marked all the numbers in a single row or a single column for that i have this is complete function and uh, we need to check either the row uh, to check the row it's very simple we just need to get a list from the fields and need to check if all the fields in in the list are marked and for checking the column it's a little bit more code we actually need to run through the indices uh, for 
for the columns in all the rows. So you can see we have to iterate uh, horizontally and uh, vertically and then see if any of the uh, fields in a specific column are not marked, okay? So if the board is complete, either the row or uh, the column uh, have been marked, uh, we can implement the final logic, uh, get all the unmarked fields. Let's see how it's implemented. We do uh, flatten on the fields data structure. That's the list of lists. So we put it into a single list and then we filter out all the uh, fields that are not marked. By the way, we can use not filter not instead of this exclamation mark here, and then uh, get the value from the field. So we get all the unmarked fields as numbers, and uh, we just count the total. And then we apply the function and remove the winning board from the list of boards. That's all we need. And we continue doing that iteratively, and uh, we just print out all the winning boards uh, through the game. The trick here is that in the second part of the uh, challenge, we need to find the last uh, winning board. So if I just print all the winning boards for the first part, the winning board will be the first one, and for the second part, the winning board will be the last one. And that's all I need. I will get both answers with the same code. So you can check the final solution in my GitHub repository. The link is in the description below. If you have any comments about the solution, please share in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and have a nice Scotland.